Hello, Kinder Guppies. It's Mr. McComb once again, and I've got another lovely story to share with you. It is called A Little Boy Catches a Whale. This story is adapted from a traditional tale in an Algonquin language called Micmac. The Micmac are an indigenous people who live in eastern Canada. This is going to be a wonderful story. Are you all ready? Well, then, here. We go. Once upon a time, an old couple who lived by themselves heard a strange tap, tap, tapping sound. It puzzled them. They spent quite some time trying to figure out where this sound was coming from. After looking high and low, they realized that whatever was making the peculiar sound was coming from underground. So the old man and woman started digging. They dug and dug and dug until they had quite a big hole. They were now very tired and had almost decided to give up digging when suddenly they came upon a small boy. The old people could hardly believe their eyes. They were not only startled, but also felt very sorry for the little boy who was all alone and seemingly helpless. At once, they decided they had to take him home and look after him. This was not an easy decision. The old man and woman were so poor that they could hardly feed themselves. How could they possibly give this little boy the food that he needed? Nevertheless, because they were good, kind, upstanding people, they were determined to keep the boy and raise him. Somehow, they thought, they would find a way. As it happened, the old people's kindness and care paid off. The boy not only grew quickly, but soon became such an expert hunter and fisherman that they were all well fed. Then, one late autumn day, the boy told the old people that he was going fishing. When he returned home later, he said that he had caught a whale. Amazed, the old couple hurried down to the shore, but instead of a huge creature that they'd expected to see, all they found was a giant pile of very large oyster shells. The old couple wasn't upset to not see a whale. They were delighted by the sight of this favorite food. The old people opened the oysters with a stone knife and feasted upon them. When they could eat no more, the old woman began to dance fast and furiously around the remaining shellfish. As she danced, one of the oysters began to grow. It grew and grew and grew until it was huge and looked exactly like a whale. Right away, the old man, the old woman, and the young boy set to work to slice and cut up the carcass. The meat would feed them all winter long. Eventually, some time later, when it was the old woman's time to die, she was wrapped in birch bark in the traditional way and placed in her ancestor's grave house. After some days, the husband went to visit the grave house. He was amazed to find the birch bark covering gone. He was now once more face to face with his dear old wife, who looked just as she had before. Delighted with this most happy turn of events, the last of many magical occurrences since the old couple had rescued the small boy, the old man danced for joy. Well, Kinder Guppies, here we are again at the end of another wonderful story. I really enjoyed this story. It showed two amazing upstanders, an old man and an old woman, who even though they didn't have a lot, when they found a young boy, decided to share everything they had with him. Well, Kinder Guppies, I hope you enjoyed this story. And remember, Mr. McComb will always talk to you all later.